Hello, welcome to Today in History. My name is Sotonye of Yassimam. As I usually do on this channel, we shall roll back the blind. This time we're not going very far. It's the year 1934. 1834. 1834. Edgar Dega is born on this day. You might have seen this painting somewhere. You know, it's one of my favorite paintings of all time. I'm not exaggerating. I love this artist, Edgar Dega. So he's a French artist and this is his most popular painting of ballet dancers. So Edgar Dega, pictured here, born on this day. He died at the age of 83 in 1917. So Edgar Dega, born on this day, French artist. Next, we move on to events on this day in 1848, the US women's suffrage movement began on this day. So essentially, people demonstrating peacefully for women to have the right to vote, and rightly so. You know, it's hard to comprehend that there was such a time in our history, in our recent history, that women were not allowed to vote. It's incredible. You know, that's all the things we take for granted today. And I just think, really? 1848, you know? Um, yeah, so when we enjoy some of the freedoms that we enjoy today, we shouldn't take those freedoms for granted. You know, women try to vote, African-Americans, um, rights to sit anywhere they want to sit on the bus and so on and so forth you know wherever people are oppressed you know minorities um so you know um we shouldn't take things for granted we shouldn't take our present liberties for granted because there was a time when um things were not as they are today you know, appreciate those who fought for the freedoms that we have today. Okay, let's move on to the next item. 1886, on this day, Franz Liszt, a Hungarian piano virtuoso and composer. That's him there. He played the piano for the last time, unfortunately, on this day, at a concert in Luxembourg. 1942, we... Go back to this guy, George Washington Carver, who I mentioned in one of my previous videos. Um, obviously, it has to be a previous video, doesn't it? Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> this is just an aside. Why do, why, why do people, um, why the expression, one of my previous videos? I mean, if something has happened, obviously, it goes without saying that it has to be a previous video. Anyway. Um, I suppose it's just uh, the way we speak. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's George Washington Carver, just like me saying anyway all the time. George Washington Carver, um, he begins experimental projects, an experimental project with Henry Ford um, on this day. You know, he was an agricultural chemist, as I mentioned in my um, other video about him. He was head of Alabama's famed Tuskegee Institute and um, yeah, collaborated with um, Henry Ford on this day. Um, Henry Ford was also interested in um, agriculture. Um, obviously, he had a motor company, but he knew that at some point in the future that um, cars would need, um, what was the term that he used now? I'm just going to look for that um, term that um, Ford used. He said, as Douglas Binkley writes in Wills for the World, his history of Ford, 
The automaker donated generously to the Tuskegee Institute helping finance Carver's experiments, and Carver in turn spent a period of time helping to oversee crops at the Ford Plantation in Ways, Georgia. So, Ford had put his money in crop production, and there's something I really want to get to. Um, that um, I found quite interesting. That why a motor ethanol, yeah, something to do with ethanol. Like Carver, Ford was deeply interested in the regenerative properties of soil and the potential f of alternative crops such as peanuts and soybeans to produce plastics, paint, fuel, and other products. Ford had long believed that the world would eventually need a substitute for gasoline. Okay, so as far back as this year, let's get back to what happened this year. The year is 1942. He had known, you know, that at some point um, the world would be looking for alternative sources of fuel. So he thought George Washington Carver um, was the kind of person he should be speaking to to provide this alternative. Okay, in 1942, he would showcase a car with a lightweight plastic body made from soybeans. Ford and Carver began corresponding via letter in 1934, and their mutual admiration deepened after Carver made a visit to Michigan in 1937. Okay, so 1942 was the year, and on this day, the collaboration between George Washington Carver and Henry Ford begins. 1943, on this day, America bombs Rome. Um, this was during the Second World War, and the idea was an attempt to break the will of the Italian people to resist, because Hitler at the time was lecturing their leader Benito Mussolini on how to prosecute the war further. So this was America saying no to extending the war or prosecuting as it's put here the war further okay um let's move on to the next year 1947 on sun pictured here this guy is the father of Aung san su chi who ha has been in the news over the last decade or so. Um, so about him, he is a war a Burmese nationalist leader and was prime minister, but was assassinated in, on this day in Rangoon, Myanmar. The year again was 1947. He's credited as being the father of modern Burma, you know, he led his country to independence as well, um, from independence from British rule. So they were ruled by the British or colonized by the British. He's, he was he's recognized as a leading architect um, of the Union of Burma, also affectionately known as Bogioke, which means maybe is still widely admired by the Burmese people. Like I mentioned earlier, his daughter Aung San Suu Kyi is a stateswoman and politician and a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. She is now serving as state councillor and the 20th and first female minister of foreign affairs in Win Min's cabinet. So Win Min is the current prime minister of Myanmar. On this day, in 1949, the Asian country of Laos gained its independence. 1949, First Lady Patricia Roberts Harris becomes U.S. Secretary of Health, Education and Welfare. A little bit about her. She was appointed to her second cabinet post as U.S. Secretary of Health, Education and Welfare 
on this day in 1979 by President Jimmy Carter. Now that's a president I admire a lot. He seems to be cheerful all the time, seems to be smiling all the time. He just seems to have this um, air of peace about him, which I deeply, deeply respect, you know. Anyway, going back to Miss Harris, Patricia Roberts Harris. She was the first African-American woman to become a cabinet minister, U.S. ambassador, and a lead in law school, and to lead a law school. Born in 1924, on the 31st of May in Mattoon, Illinois, she graduated summa cum laude from Howard University. Okay, so there is a lot about her to read on the internet if you want to check it out. Um, quite an inspirational lady, you know, lovely, beautiful lady. Joy on her face as well. Perhaps that's the reason why she resonated um, with um, the. I call him the smiley president, um, Jimmy Carter. Yeah, you can see the um, likeness, if you like, the, the attitude towards life, you know, the joy on their faces. Quite interesting there. So 1980, on this day, the UK Parliament votes against reintroducing the death penalty. I personally think that the death penalty I think. Why do people use that phrase? I personally think. You know, it's similar to the statement I made earlier. Anyway, I think that the death penalty is wrong. Um, we do not give people life, so we shouldn't be taking life away from them. You know. Anyway, so it's a good thing that this happened in the UK in 1980, that they vote against reintroducing the death penalty. Now, I'm not sure when the last person was hung in the UK, but my guess would be it was in the 50s. Um, so that might be something for you guys to check out when you have the time. So again, 1980 was the day the UK Parliament voted against reintroducing the death penalty, and that's a picture of Big Ben and the Parliament buildings in London. Rather picturesque. I would say. Last but not least is the South African government. And that's another beautiful building, Pretoria. Um, yeah, so South African government buildings that admitted funding the Zulus to undermine the ANC or the African National Congress. That's quite interesting. So the government went behind the ANC's back to fund the Zulus in order to bring down the ANC. But that obviously didn't succeed. I did mention Nelson Mandela and his daughter yesterday, so go check out that video. Um, it was Nelson Mandela's birthday, posthumous birthday yesterday. And um, sadly, he lost his daughter, or his daughter died um, six days ago on the 13th of July. She was an ambassador to Denmark, so South Africa's ambassador to Denmark. And then in that video, she talked about um, people forgiving one another, doing good for each other, spending 67 minutes. Um, so those 67 minutes represented the 67 years that her father um, served the nation. You know, that's when her father was... Um, in the struggle, you know, um, led the struggle for South Africa's independence, if you like. So he gave 67 years, 67 productive years to his country, South Africa, and wanted South Africans to do the same, not just South Africans, but the world over, those who um, admire freedom, those who um, want the status quo to change. You know, in places like the United States, for instance, places like Somalia, you know, places like India, places like Nigeria, all over the world, Burma, just mentioned Burma, um, wherever there's injustice, wherever women have been suppressed, 
part of African Americans or blacks or whites anywhere in the world, you know, Zimbabwe, yeah, I just remember Zimbabwe when uh, there was a time when white farmers were being driven out of the country, some of them went to Nigeria and set up large farms, you know, so we should all learn to embrace one another, you know, as long as we're not being oppressed, we should all learn to embrace one another. Okay, on that note, guys, I shall end today's today in history thank you thank you thank you for listening to this um, edition and i shall see you hopefully tomorrow on the edition of today in history my name is sotonie afiasimama thanks for dropping by Give me a thumbs up if you like this video do not forget to subscribe as well by clicking the notification bell so that you receive updates of my uploads thanks again guys and i shall see you tomorrow stay safe bye bye